example of how strong the winds can be. Walk with me right here. Oh. You can see this tree was completely ripped out of the ground, and as the winds toppled it over, you can see that it ripped up the concrete. The whole area, expensive, as you see high wind right here. Shattering the this whole window, 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 window. the entirety of the roof of this home here in Redwood mm. City. The good news is I'm being told that the homeowner is okay. However, there's obviously Ooh. a massive mess. She's very shaken up at this point. We spoke with a neighbor who was home at the time when this tree went down. Wow. This is what he had to say. Listen to this. It sounded like kind of like an earthquake, actually. A big, massive kind of rattling sound of the house. And then, then it ended pretty quickly. That was about it. So I'm about five foot ten. You can see just how large this tree is. This is just the base of it that was pulled out. If you come just this way, you can see how large this is. It doesn't look like it went very deep into the ground, however, which may make sense as to why it was able to topple so far. As it's a very tall tree as well, looking like 50, 60 feet potentially here in Redwood City. This isn't the only example of a tree down here. Redwood City seems to be getting hit pretty hard uh, in terms of the extreme wind here on the peninsula. I've seen trees down on other houses. I saw one on a car that was just near, uh, excuse me, near Woodside Road uh, and, and multiple other kinds of incidents like this. This may be the most extreme that we've seen so far, uh, but plenty of people here on the peninsula and in Redwood City, City dealing with trees down and other hazards. Of the more than 20,000 people without power right now in the Bay Area, about 12,000 of them are right here in the peninsula. Stoplights out uh, in Redwood City as well. It's going to be a long one, long afternoon here in Redwood City. Reed. Yeah.